we need to get the dashboard painted. Right, the false wall is pretty simple to do. Um, I've just got to spend a little bit of time putting on um, these rear fenders and the rear lights. Um, because of editing, um, I fitted a um, false wall on here. Um, but the first one I screwed up. So you might see a black one in the video later on. Um, but this is the original one. And that tilts forward so you can um, tilt the cab to access the electronics should you need to. And th it won't flop forward because by the time the seats are in there, the seats will be there and that will stop it from coming forward. So they will just sit there like that. And that is um, completely vertical. A little bit of detail on the uh, interior. It's, um, it's it, I, I'm not going to go all out and put things on the dashboard and you know have maps and because nobody has maps these days. Um, so this is just going to be a, um, a standard build basically. Um, I've put um, X18 as it says on the instructions. Um, for the dashboard which is a semi-gloss black and um, same with the lower lockers and um, I've gone for a German grey on the seats which it says in the manual I've just added a little bit of um, light um, dark sea grey on the um, seat belt mount and, um, yeah that is the um, dashboard have a little bit of a close up on that so yeah, it's uh, looking pretty pretty smart. Not bad for uh, a couple of hours work on the front. I've only bolted the seats on just for um, show, and just to give it some um, something to stand on. I mean, I think it's quite um, detail on the steering wheel. Little switch. Um, down in this this corner here so I think that's uh, pretty good detailing yeah uh, happy with that uh, how that turned out while I'd got the paints out um, I decided to get the rear lights they are made of just black plastic um, they don't tell you to uh, do much with these so I chrome line them and then hit the indicator with the X26 which is a translucent orange and uh, hopefully they'll give better reflection of the LEDs when they are in and of course they have the um, get them right way around light lenses on there like that which is pretty sweet and the other thing that I've painted is the um, front panel which is um, a translucent blue and all I've done is just hit the back of that with um, X18 which is a semi gloss black and uh, without the fingerprints that looks um, pretty good and uh, the same with the sun visor don't I don't want to fool you I didn't uh, paint that to that standard because I just hit the back of it um, with the semi gloss black so uh, yeah as simple as that um, how I measure this is I get a ruler uh, tilt the cables 
upside down the, the, the bottom side look how shiny that paint is next level stuff that um, so I get the cab like that I get a ruler and I want to measure how big this um, sheet of styrene which is 1.5 millimeters thick um, that all the cabs are going to be different so the, the, the seats just fit at the back of the cab the cab does taper in slightly so all I do is take a measurement of the inside just down there and as you can see that is um, 17 and a half centimeters at the top of the cab which in American money is six and three quarter inches and at the bottom of the cab that is seven inches in English money 180 um, millimeters 18 centimeters so that needs to taper in slightly you don't need to taper it in um, because if you just do it to the thinnest measurement you're not going to notice so I'm going to do the whole thing um, I'm going to do it at 172 millimeters wide the depth this is the back of the cab this is where we need to be and the distance between this step here the lower step we need to measure that which is 120 uh, millimeters and that is th 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 four and three quarters or maybe a little bit less um, and then cut it relatively to size and then you'll need to trim out a little bit of a doghouse just so it allows to clear the motor I've put two 19 mil hinges which I believe is 7 16 and and as you can see I've cut out these top corners just in case I need to get some wires from the front of the cab at the top like so the seats will hold that up and that will be in there like so and um, yeah once the interior is in you really won't um, see any of the wiring and as you can see we've got from here just behind the seats to here so we have a good um, 45 uh, millimeters so we have 4.5 centimeters which in American money is two and three quarter uh, an inch and three quarters which is plenty of room so I'll put that over this side out of the way that is just held on with a couple of 19 millimeter hinges just behind these two uh, just in front of these two uh, posts that hold the um, uh, wheel fender on and that's uh, it should be just about parallel with the front of the transmission cases and that, uh, that is that so that turns out at um, 172 like we said which is six and three quarter inches and the, the plastic card tall is I've gone a little bit under at 118 no not 118 100 and yeah 118 millimeters and then I've just cut like um, a, a small a small square out at the top so yeah the, the the black one that I did was totally wrong and um, ignore that so well, ignore it when you see it because it has been updated the, the that measurement that I had jotted down was for a different euro cab um, and for a different kind of build so um, 
this is basically what we need. And we need something um, behind that so it looks a bit like a sleeper cab. So all I'm going to do <coughs> excuse me, is um, get rid of all that and we need a laptop and a printer. And then we need to open um, Chrome and then we need to type in there sleeper cab interior and then click on images and we just scroll through and we look for one that is face on so this one here is a typical Volvo interior you might click that and save that image so we can do that one, we just keep scrolling down or um, you know, just scroll down. There's one that I've used many times before, so we just click save image. And then just choose one that you like, nothing more complicated than that. And then what we do is we open our graphics software. I use Paint Shop Pro from Coral because I've used it for years and basically I like it. So just going to click um, open from downloads, click the interior, click the interior, click the interior, click the interior and open and that should open everything that I've just done. So we can just choose any um, as you can see there's a bit of white on there so we'll just crop that out now we'll look at the other ones yeah, there's a bit of nonsense in there so I don't think that would be very good so close that I'm not going to save any changes to it um, uh, you can see a bit of sideways on that. Don't really like it. And this one. Is that one the same? Yeah, it's the same. So we can click off that. So now we know what the measurement of our um, image is. So I'm just going to click resize and click on print actual size. Um, you can do this in paint as long as you get the measurement right. We've measured um, 172 millimeters from uh, what I was measuring. Yeah, it's 172. So I'm just gonna change that value, keep the aspect ratio. And that's that. Let's position that in the middle. Now, I'm going to print that onto um, self-adhesive paper and I've got some crafting paper here that I use for um, water slide which is a, a white, I've got water slide which is clear and I have self-adhesive, it's just normal A4 this is matte finish and this is glossy finish. I'm going to go for the matte finish. Um, so, yeah, it's just a simple case. Simple if you can open the packet. I'm going to use a half sheet. And... Uh, Turn on the printer. Load that in. In there. And uh, hit print.
and that's come out on there look at that beautiful that was just done in normal it weren't in uh, fast draft or anything so we can turn that off we can close that do you wish to save nope so we can close that nope get rid of all that and get rid of them we need to trim that out and we can use scissors we can use a knife and a cutting mat or if you've got a slicer or guillotine we can use that so we'll just make sure that our image is the correct size 172 and that's going to be way too big but um, I'm just going to cut off that bottom strip just there and leave as much of the top as I can so uh, It's great having the right tools, but um, it's not essential. You can do this with um, scissors or a blade or or anything. So that's that. That's the junk, and that's that. We need to cut out um, the doghouse, so we shall do that. Um, I'm going to need um, a cutting mat, so I don't want to cut my desk up. So what I'm going to use to use the template on that, I'm going to use the um, the other piece that I didn't get quite right and cut the bottom off doesn't have to be ultra perfect because I don't think anybody's really going to notice what um, what if any any imperfections are unless you point them out so don't um, don't be pointing your imperfections out because at the end of the day you're working close up with the model and there's only you that's really ever going to see those imperfections so yeah I used to point them out and then people said stop pointing out the imperfections we can't see it and then that just fits on there like that and uh, the interior fits in there like that and um, yeah you've got yourself an interior you can lift that up if you want um, so once the cabs on or, or uh, thereabouts you can position it just to get it right and uh, there they will just about have it there's a bit of an interior. Look at that. Looks like there's lockers just there. And once everything's uh, screwed together and buttoned up, um, yeah, it'll be good to go. So it is nothing more complicated than uh, than that. So I'm going to stick that on there. I know sometimes the bunk is a about level with your elbow um, and this is a little bit lower than that um, so I'm going to put it a little bit higher or shall I not bother I'll just not bother I'm just going to put it there because the effect is the same the majority of this will be hidden by the seats 
I say it was a little bit um, big, so I can just trim that off. Or just get a um, very sharp blade. up those screws at the bottom as well. And this last quite a, you know doesn't lift or, or anything it's uh, pretty good uh, craft paper and I think it's um, I think it's around five pound for five sheets so it's one pound a sheet which at the end of the day that's pretty good. Fits on there. And that fits in there. So it looks like we've got an interior already. Right, let's get that um, tucked up and put to bed. Right, so before I go any further, I have been in. Um, to the town and uh, been to the crafting store and while I was just browsing around because that's what I do I saw some um, red ribbon double sided satin polyester three millimeter ribbon and I thought hmm what could I do with that and then I thought I could in Christ, I've just bought five meters of um, ribbon. And I thought maybe I could just use two and a half inches and just make a seat belt for there and that wasn't a bad guess having three millimeters of um, ribbon might be a little bit long so I'm gonna leave that because I can go down the side of the seat could angle that there so it's like that and I think I've got a piece of black plastic that I could just stick on there as um, a seat bolt clip. Could put a passenger in there, go across like that, and uh, hmm, let me see how that works. So there's a couple of seat belts, and um, that literally took me a couple of minutes to do. Um, Going to make the little clips. Um, using an exacto knife or rather a scalpel because I have a scalpel for some reason and I'm just going to make those out of a piece of um, black polythene that's just um, black polythene from a polythene bag a um, little bit of masking tape on there to hold that steady I'm going to cut out the seatbelt clips and they're going to be three millimeters I'm not going to measure them 
might not measure them, might measure them. Where's my little ruler? So, stick that on there like that. Can you see anything? Yes, you can. So, one, two, three. Another small strip. And they're dry. So I'm just going to get a small amount of adhesive on the same cocktail stick that I um, did them with. Doesn't want to let go of the tweezers. Go on, get on there. Be patient, be patient. Get my cocktail stick and hold it on with that. That's not playing games. This is fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. That should be it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And zoom in. So I have a couple of seat belts. So on the next um, video, we will be putting together the cab, which obviously you've seen. I have got back from my um, friend that has airbrushed all the parts and it looks amazing. And um, that's really going to uh, come together. And I can't wait to get this looking good, looking good with the white bumper. So yeah, definitely going to be worth um, the wait on that. It's going to. Yeah, so uh, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Any questions, 
please ask if I if if I've edited something out that you've seen I've done because it's not easy um, doing these videos um, I do actually uh, go over and over and if I've edited something out just let me know in the comments below in the meantime I'm going to get all that on there and I'll wire up the front lights we're going to put them in a loom I'm going to get the headlights in show you how to wrap them and then get them into the back of the uh, MFC and uh, so we'll be putting some finishing touches on um, I have already put the wheels together and they look pretty sweet um, super single fronts so we've got some heavy duty uh, front axle going on there and um, getting some getting some blue on getting some blue on there so until then, um, boys and girls, um, I'll see you in the next one.